This is the intro piano portion of Ride. So for the intro portion, um, it's essentially, if you're looking at the chord chart, the first three chords of the intro. So F sharp major, except for the intro part, it takes off the fifth, which is that C sharp. So it just does the first two notes of the F sharp major chord. So very staccato. And then for the next chord in that intro, it's the G-sharp minor, which is the second chord. But it's only the first two notes of that. So starting from the beginning, it goes F-sharp to G-sharp. Just once, very staccato, like all of them. And then the third one is D-sharp minor, but it plays all three notes of the chord, as opposed to the first two notes of the other ones. So D sharp minor is the last one. And then at the end of that D sharp minor, so the very last time you play that chord, you're raising the fifth of the chord up one, so up a half step to, to that B right there. So that portion would go. So I just raise my pinky up there, my ring finger to pinky. So starting from the beginning, it goes, and I'll play it slow, slowly so, it, so it's a little easier to follow. And again. So for this next part, um, coming off of the beginning portion of the song, so the intro, we're playing up here. So we don't come in until the very first chorus of the song after that. So that's the only part we play in the beginning. And then after that, we drop down two octaves, so down to here, so right below middle C. And for this part, it plays the full chords of the songs, not, of the song, not just the first two notes. Not just that, it plays the actual. So, and I wish I could give a better view, but due to constraints of this room, can't do that. So, the first uh, chord. Still doing a staccato like before, and we'll have to find a good organ patch for it. But is the uh, F sharp major? So, and then it goes to the G sharp minor. So remember, you're adding the fifth, and then back down to the uh, B sharp minor. raise that fifth again like you did in the beginning at the end of it. So we'll play it based off of how it goes in the song here. So let me see if I can get this to the right part. We'll start it a little early and then we'll come into it. through all this keeps going during the second verse rap so for the next bridge portion where things I've been thinking too much uh, chord progression isn't too bad we're gonna simplify it so we're still gonna get the point across but it's not gonna be as weird as it is on the recording so the first chord we have is a standard F sharp major chord. So right there, like we're, like we're playing. 
playing earlier the octave down and I just throw in the lower bass I've been thinking too much so that's your first chord right there your second chord is kind of passing chord pass code whatever you want to call it uh, is your uh, D sharp minor chord so again we start with F sharp I've been thinking too much and then I just I jump my thumb up there so start from the F and going up to this D sharp with my left hand and I'm getting rid of this fifth of the F sharp so then we just have a D sharp minor chord which passes on to the next chord so we'll start it again from the F sharp major I've been thinking too much I've been thinking too much so uh, that was the third chord there that's the C sharp major again we're gonna keep it straight forward and just do the one three five of the C chord C sharp chord and then just throw in left hand lower end so so from the beginning it goes I've been thinking too much I've been thinking too much and then it does another passing D sharp minor chord so you can just do that with your right hand if you want so go up from that C sharp major up to the D sharp minor and then this next chord this is probably the most complex but once it's in place it's pretty straightforward is uh, G sharp minor 7 so you're going from that uh, D sharp minor chord to G sharp minor 7 which is G sharp uh, B D sharp and then F sharp so again G B D sharp F sharp and then I just do the lower end like all the other ones I've been thinking too much thinking too much so again that G sharp minor and it goes back to D sharp minor passing to C sharp major and then the la the very I guess I should say second to last chord is just uh, you're keeping that C sharp major in the right hand so the one before it is and then you just walk your left hand up to the F to make it C sharp major over F and then back to F again or F sharp and that's that whole progression so so just to play it one more time that whole bridge portion and I'll add my little vocals should go as such <laughs> 